Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about the naming conventions in your Python program. Before discuss about the naming convention, what is an identifier? Identifier. Identifier is nothing but it's a name in your Python program. You created one Python program. Inside the Python program, if you write any name for a variable or name for a method or name for a function or a class, name for a module or a package, that one we can say like an identifier. Okay, while writing the name, which type of rules okay, recommended, okay, which way is the recommended to write the name? That one we can say like a naming convention. Okay, let's, you can state a variable first. Variable first. If you create a variable in your Python, okay, just you can write like a variable name, variable name and the initial value, initial value. This name, this name, I can write, I can write any alphabet, you can use it, any alphabet, you can use it, or numbers, you can use it, alphabets or numbers, and some symbol, underscore symbol, I can use it. See this, these are the alphabets, so that yes, it's a valid, valid identifier for my variable. Okay, numbers, I can say, number one, yes, it's a valid identifier. Okay, I can say one symbol I told, right? Underscore symbol. It's also valid. It's also valid. Okay, alphabets, numbers, and special character is what? Underscore. Other than this, any special character we should not use, like percentage, for example. It's like an invalid dollar. It's like an invalid. It's like an invalid. Okay, and one more thing. My identifier name should not start with a digit should not start with a digit. Digits you can write, okay, in between or lost, but you should not start the identifier name with a digit. So you can conclude. The identifier name, you can use alphabets. Inside the identifier name, you can use alphabets, numbers, and underscore symbol. Okay, number-wise, if you come to the number, you should not start the identifier with number, that's it. Now, in my name, there has multiple words are there. For example, first name, two words are there. Better to, better to keep the words, okay, with underscore symbol. Okay, merge those words with underscore symbol. Your identifier name, okay, words are there. First is one word, name is one word. Then you can use like a underscore symbol. This is the naming convention you can follow to create a variables in your Python. Not only only for the variables, if you create a functions, you can follow the same naming convention. Methods, you can follow the same naming convention. Modules as well as packages. Don't ask what is module, what is function, what is variable i will discuss all these things now our focus is like just which naming convention how you want me to create the names okay which one is the recommended way which one is the recommended way to create the name in your python program that is our goal that is the same naming convention you can use it now come to the classes come to the classes if you want to create a class Okay, that class should start with a capital letter. Capital letter. Okay, so for example, I have one class name is there student. So that my class name, my class student, like this, you have to create. Okay, my class always starts with a capital letter. This is the naming convention you can follow. The next one, the next one. Some of the variables are like a local variables inside the function or a method. You create some variables. Those scope is only for that particular function or method or not. Local variables, if you want to create variables, if you want to create, better to follow underscore with your name. Underscore with your name starts with underscore. Okay. I can understand like this is the local variable. The scope is for that particular area. Like that, I can understand. Any constants, if you want to create, 
constants if you want to create, for example, pi value 3.14. Any constant value if you want to create, which is not changed, that constant you can keep like the constant name you can keep like capital letter. Multiple words are there, just you can use like, okay, underscore with, okay, just you can merge those words with underscore like this, you can use it. The next one, these are the local variables. Some of the methods and everything is not allowed to access by some other person. Okay, non-accessible numbers. Non-accessible. Okay, that type of, okay, that type of numbers, that type of number you can represent by using underscore, underscore symbol underscore underscore sorry underscore underscore symbol most of the times you can find these things only in your python program variables functions methods modules packages class local variables constants non-accessible numbers okay in your python program any one of these one use the name should have to follow these rules thanks guys thanks for watching